So this is a split squat with a rock back. Now this is not a strength drill, it's not a conditioning drill. We're treating this as a mobility drill and we're trying to create a little bit of length through here. So the key thing, right, we wanna make sure that our, our target is set up below knee height behind us. We wanna make sure the top of our foot is resting there, right? We also wanna make sure that our foot is out in front of us so that it's a comfortable distance as we head down. Now, before we start to initiate the movement, now that we're in a good position, right? We wanna make sure that our pelvis is in a nice neutral position, right? So make sure that the tendency is that the pelvis tilts forward. So we wanna make sure that it's neutral, not posteriorly tilted, not anteriorly, but nice and neutral. From here, we wanna lock that in with a nice tight belly, right? And a nice tight butt cheek squeeze on the, on the leg that's back. From here, we're gonna go down nice and slow, maintaining that pelvic position, and once we get our knee on the ground, we're gonna push with our front leg back and drive our pelvis back to our heel, right? It's really gonna wind up that tissue. And, and once we get to that peak tension, we're gonna come out of it, right? So this is gonna be a little bit of a dynamic stretch. We're coming down, driving our, our hip back, and then we're gonna come up out of it and stand up. So we don't want you hanging out in these positions for a long time. We want you getting in and out of these positions you know, at a, at a moderate tempo. So again, the big thing is creating the tension through the core, right? Because if we're not tight through the core, right, we're gonna, we're gonna end up losing the point of this drill and the movement's gonna be coming from our low back. So again, this is a split squat with a rock back.